Hello fellow modelers and here we have one more new model from Japan F35 A Lightning 2 from Tamiya. Immediately after the kit the accessories from Eduard were released on the market so we will try them right away. The F35 is already too modern and perfect for me and I probably would never have bought the model if it was not built by Tamiya. The Japanese manufacturer is the absolute top among the manufacturers of plastic models and each of its new products always surprises with brilliant design and perfect production. Lightning 2 did not disappoint either, the kit is perfect. You can just pinch the parts out of the frame, clean them up a bit and put them back together. Perfect example is detailed Bombay. Paint the details with acrylic paints and add the decals according to the detailed instructions. Of course, we will not forget to button up with all paints using the wash technique. I did the same for painting the wheel bay parts. The 
kit includes armament. I decided to replace the plastic parts with more detailed polyurethane ones from the Brazen Edition set. I used only the armament for the Bombay AIM-120 rockets and GBU-31 bombs. The racks had to be slightly modified for the new armament.
Another addition from the Brazen range was the new wheels. Again, the kit parts had to be slightly modified. And while I was modifying the landing gear legs, I also added the hydraulic lines. I also indicated the sensor mirrors with adhesive aluminium foil. Assembling the painted parts was an absolute pleasure. Next up, the cockpit. The look kit offers us edge seat belts and colored dashboard. As an essential upgrade, it is enough and there is no need to modify the kit part. More detailed is the set from the Space Edition. Together with edge seat belts, it contains 3D decals of cockpit equipment. However, it is necessary to modify the kit parts.
For a detailed description of how to paint the cockpits of modern aircraft, check out the how to make playlist on my channel. The space cockpit is very nice. However, I decided to use the more detailed polyurethane cockpit from the Brazen edition. The parts are 3D printed and complete with edge seat belts and decals.
the simplified belts spoil the impression of the highly detailed cockpit a bit. Other accessories are edge kits. These can also be used to upgrade the cockpit or exhaust nozzle, but I only use a few parts for the cockpit overlay and the surface of the aircraft. Although, the kit includes mask for the clear parts. I used already cut from the T-Face edition for the outer and inner parts of the canopy.
also replaced the exhaust nozzle with a polyurethane one from Brazil Edition. It's good to send the fine lines from the surface after 3D printing and then just play around with the coloring. The joints on the control surfaces have to be put filler. I mix the camouflage colors from different shades of GSI colors. I don't remember the exact ratio. I mixed them until I was happy with the shade. I'm not saying I got the shade exactly right, but I like it. I used Edward masks to mask the RAM panels. They released masks for RAM panels in early and late versions.
Around this time, the decals arrived from Caracal models. They are printed by Cartograph, which I like to use. I was surprised by the overcoat, which was very overlapping with the decal, and I will have to trim it down a bit. I choose the Royal Australian Air Force. I like the kangaroo in the emblem. To liven up the grey aircraft a bit, I decided to add red remove before flight warning tapes. and also yellow wheel jocks. It was only after completing the model that I discovered that Australian aircraft do not have parachute pods. I wouldn't mind it too much on the model, maybe they will buy them someday. But I glued the case backward and I couldn't stand it anymore. So I broke it off and repaired the surface.
There is no problem with using Eduard accessories and it is up to you which one you choose. And Tamiya? They never stop surprising me with the quality of their models. Absolute top. I have already bought an F14 Tomcat and so, some other time. Thank you very much for your attention and I will be glad for a subscription or a like. <laughs>